What's going on guys and welcome to a new series I'm going to be doing, it's probably going to be a 4 or 5 part series, it's going to be my FIFA 17 Legends wishlets. I'm going to have um, 6 players in each episode and we're just going to go through them and I'm going to tell you guys who I believe could get a legend card in FIFA 17. Right guys, so the first legend we do have is Javier Zanetti, this guy is a massive legend, of course best known for playing at Inter Milan, he did also play with Banfield um, as well, they were the two kind of big clubs he did play for, he did make 700 714 club appearances, getting 17 goals in those 714 appearances. He also made 143 appearances for the Argentine uh, Argentinian national squad and got five goals in them. So he has been a club legend, probably best known or definitely best known for Inter Milan, and that is the reason I believe he will get this legend card. He will have these kind of stats as well. I think he'll be 89 rated. Was is probably still going to be one of the best um, Serie A defenders or just best Serie A players in general there has ever been. He is an absolute legend at Inter Milan. Was at their, um, I was at that club for the majority of his career and will always be a legend to them. I would also love to see this card in FIFA 17 as this would be a very fun card to use. It has kind of all the attributes for a really solid right back card and it'd just be really good for hybrids and things like that. But yeah guys, do you think Zanetti will get a legend card in FIFA 17? Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. The next legend we do have is Nemanja Vidic. This guy just retired at the end of, was it last season or in January or something like that. So he is going to be a relatively new legend if he does get a legend card in FIFA 17. Of course, the three main clubs he has played for have been Spartak Moscow, Manchester United most notably, and um, recently Inter Milan. He's made 367 club appearances, getting 38 goals in that time, along with 56 um, national appearances for Serbia and two goals with them. But he's probably best known for being one of, if not the best, centre back in Premier League history he's been solid at the back for Manchester United through that glory period um, with Sir Alex Ferguson through the 2000s he was just incredible a rock in the defence and most people would probably say he was the best centre back there's ever been in the Barclays Premier League but yeah guys he was a great defender I'm going to give him an 89 overall I think that will be the highest he gets I don't think he's good enough to be any higher getting close to Maldini uh, Beckenbauer Nest I don't think he was that good but I think he was still a really quality defender guys do you agree with this do you think he'll get 89 rated make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. Right guys, so the next player is going to be Ronaldinho, possibly the best um, playmaker and dribbler the, the world has ever seen. He was incredible, skill moves and everything, was just the best at that and I just love to watch him. The four main clubs he did play for were PSG, Barcelona, AC Milan and of course Flamengo. These are the four clubs you've probably most likely seen him at. He was a quality, quality player at every single one of them, um, probably best at Barcelona, of course getting 70 goals in 145 appearances for them, which is just absolutely incredible. He also got 30 three goals and 97 appearances for the Brazil national team. Yeah, he bagged over 170, possibly even over 180 goals in his career um, and I think it was just under 400 games or just under 500 games. He's an incredible player. He has to get at least 91 in my opinion. One of the one of the, one of the greatest there's ever been. We can't argue with that. When you watched him, he was the best player in the world at one point and nobody can argue with that. So yeah guys, I think he will also have 95 dribbling. Of course he will have 95 dribbling guys. One of the best dribblers there's ever been ever in football. So yeah guys, make sure to tell me in the comment section if you agree with my Ronaldinho prediction. The next player we do have is Raul or Raul Gonzalez, whatever you want to call him by, but he is best known as Raul or Raul. However you say it, I'm not too bothered. This guy's four main clubs were Real Madrid, Schalke, Al Sad, I'm not too sure you say that one, and New York Cosmos. So he did of course play the majority of his career at Real Madrid. 550 appearances for um, the Galacticos at getting 228 goals in those 550 appearances, which is an average of just over um, one goal every two games, which is just incredible. In his whole career, he did get 683 appearances, banging in 275 goals in those appearances, um, and of course, as I said, the majority coming at Real Madrid. He also got 44 goals in 102 games for the Spanish national team. This guy actually only retired last year at New York Cosmos after banging in 8 goals in 20 appearances. So yet again, like Ronaldinho, I suppose Vidic and... Um, Zanetti, he will be a relatively new legend as he has just stopped playing football. But yeah guys, when you watched him at Real Madrid, he just banged in the goals week in, week out, was possibly one of their best strikers they have ever had, if not he would probably fight for the best striker spot um, that Real Madrid, or the best striker that Real Madrid have ever had. He was that good, guys. He, he stayed there his whole career. He was a loyal, loyal player. Was there for the youth system as well. Played for Real Madrid C and B. And is just, in general, a really world-class striker. I've given him a rating of 90, as I think he will be one of the best strikers that you can get in the game. Of course, he is a centre-forward. He wasn't actually really a striker. He's more of a centre-forward. Um... 
but he he was just as good at goal scoring. Of course, players like Ronaldinho, Pele, Beckenbauer, who are just a bit better than him, are going to get higher ratings. But I think a 90 rating is fair for this kind of guy, as he was a quality, quality goal scorer and a very, very, very clinical finisher. So you guys, do you think Ryle deserves a legend card? And if so, what rating? Tell me in the comment section down below. The next player we do have is potentially the best player that has ever played football. I wouldn't personally say so. I would say players like Pele and Messi were better, and um, maybe even Ronaldo, but he is definitely in the top five, in my opinion, best footballers there's ever been. As of course, Diego Maradona. If you don't know who he is and you're a football fan, you can no longer call yourself a football fan. He started off his career at Argentina Juniors, playing 167 games and getting 116 goals in that, which is absolutely incredible. And then moved to Boca Juniors and stayed there for a year and getting 28 goals in 40 games before moving to Barcelona. Um, stayed there for two years and got 22 goals in 36 games. Then he bagged 81 goals in 188 games for Napoli before getting another five goals in 26 games at Sevilla. He then went back to Boca Juniors at the end of his career and got seven goals in 30 games. Overall he played 491 club appearances getting 259 goals in that time. He also got 34 goals in 91 games for the Argentinian national squad. But this guy is an absolute legend guys. When he was in the ball he could go past anybody. You saw him in the World Cup. Of course the controversial hand of God is probably one of the biggest moments in World Cup history um, and that was because of him. Probably not one of his brightest moments but then there was another goal in that game which just blew you away. Skinned basically the whole England team and finished it off very nicely. He could juggle past anyone for these guys. He was that sort of player. He's like He was like the olden day kind of Messi I would say. They're very very similar um, but I would just say that Messi just has that tiny bit more class in them. But nonetheless guys he is a quality 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 um, footballer and he, he was just he was just one of the best. He was the best in his day by far. I'm going to give him 94 rated guys he deserves it he's probably going to be roughly around that he's not going to be as high rated as Pele but he'll probably be a bit more higher rated than Beckenbauer if he does get this he will be the second highest rated legend in the game Right guys, so the final player of today's episode is going to be Michael Ballack. Of course, most famous for playing at Bayern Leverkusen, Bayern Munich and Chelsea. In his club career, he has made 456 appearances, 107 of them coming at Bayern Munich and 105 of them at Chelsea. He also got 79 at his first period at Bayern Leverkusen and then a further 35 at his second. In those 456 games, he did bang in 117 goals. Well, when you think about it, it's incredible for a central midfielder. I remember watching him when I was younger and he was very 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 good at long shots uh, that's the kind of the main thing I can remember about him he was very good at Chelsea that is where I saw the majority of his football was at Chelsea a bit in the World Cup and stuff like that as well um, but he was very good at shooting let's just say that had a great pass on him as well he was a strong physical midfielder and um, that probably got him into the Germany team with a very very strong Germany team at the time he got 42 goals in 98 games for the Germany national team which is just honestly amazing for a central midfielder. That's almost a goal every second game. But yeah, guys, he was a very, very good player, and that is why I believe he will get a legend card. I'm going to give him an 88 rated. I think he is kind of on the same level as the players like Patrick Vieira, Roy Keane. I think he was that kind of quality. I don't think he's any worse than that. I don't think he's any better either. I think he would just fit in there perfectly with an 88 rated card. I would really like to use this card in FIFA as well. I think it would be very good for high bids, and it would be very good just in general to use for those long shots and that strength in midfield. Guys, do you agree with us? Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button guys. If we get at 25 likes, that'd be absolutely insane. Subscribe guys as well if you're new to the channel. Apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.